2015, Tinubu was all over the place telling Nigerians to support Buhari. In 2019, he, he said the same thing. But today, Nigerians are reaping the dividends of supporting Buhari today. Everybody is crying, everybody is wailing, everybody is weeping because of the bad governance of Buhari. Today, the same Tinumbu is not even saying anything about all the bad things that have happened on that Buhari. Now it's coming to tell Nigerians that he's going to do this, he's going to do that. The question people have been asking, does it mean that Nigerians are foolish, that you want to go and meet the man who cannot even speak truth for power? They have been getting away with all these uh, atrocities. They will say one thing, they will not fulfill it, and they will come back and tell you another story, and you will see for for it. Just very few people will say, no, we cannot continue like that. And people have come out to ask Tinubu to apologize to Nigerians that the man that he introduced to Nigerians. And the unfortunate thing is that the so-called Southwest people, they are not even reasoning it from that angle because it was the vote of the Southwest that made Buhari to come to power, to become the president. With all their boastfulness about, oh, did not this, did not that. I listened to Kwakwansu saying that, uh, oh, they have about four northern states, they are going to win. And I said, go and ask. All, all of us, we are all witnesses to the incident that happened to Buhari four, three times. He couldn't win because you need the vote of all the uh, six geopolitical zones for you to win. Even if you like, gather the whole number of votes from one region. It will not make you become the president. It will take you nowhere. So when they boast about this northern population, it, it baffles me. When some, some people will come out and tell you that, oh, the entire southeast vote is not up to one local government in the north i just laughed as if if you win all the other geopolitical zones and if you don't win an appreciable uh, number of votes in the southeast you think you are going to win you're not going to win so what are we talking about the same set of people who have ruined this country they are not coming out to tell you that they are sorry they are not telling you that uh, they have built a lagos they have done this and that is exactly what is happening it's going to happen with this uh, G5 that everybody is waiting that they are going to announce the person, the candidate that Nigerians should vote for. They, don't, they have no, no moral justification to do that. So the same thing, if they tell you to go and vote another person because we are hearing the speculations that they are going to endorse a Tinubu, the same way Tinubu endorsed Buhari, now Nigerians are suffering. What did he do? The same way you go and listen to these G5 governors and if you don't use your sense, you are still going to go through the same suffering. So at the end of the day, who is fully who? Now it's Tinubu suffering. Tinubu is not suffering. The so-called G5, are they suffering? No, they are not suffering. Whether anybody loses or wins, it's not going to affect them. So Nigerians should be able to take their destiny in their hands. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't know anything. A lot of people are still, a lot of people are still ignorance. A lot of people are still falling for the antics of these people. So what do you do? How do you go about this whole thing? So the bottom line is that the same way Tinumbu lured people to vote for Buhari, and now Buhari has messed up big time. He has messed up big time. And they are not even, they are feigning ignorance as if uh, nothing happened. You know, just like, nothing, ha nothing even happened. They just, they are, everybody should just carry on like that. And unfortunately, some people are falling for that. Because some people, are, they have covenant with poverty. They have covenant with suffering. So they just want everybody to begin to think in that direction. And that's why some people are like, oh, we cannot go in this route. These people are coming again, this, this so-called G5. To me, as far as I'm concerned, they have no, they have no weight. Mm -mm. They are not relevant as far as I'm concerned. Unless, if you know your words, you know that these guys are just there for their own selfish reasons. In one way or the other, they will come out with good uh, intentions on the face value, they will tell you that uh, yes, oh, they are doing this. But in in the real sense, it's not because of you they are fighting all this. Is. It is not because of you they are fighting all this. Is. So they are fighting because of their own selfish interests. So if you fall for the antics, you are to be blamed. Whatever that comes out of the whole thing, you are to be blamed. Don't go and listen to them. You should ask yourself now, 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 now. What am I going? What I'm going through now? What and what have they done? 
to make impacts. It's all about party, 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 party. And if they are being given what they want, they meet their conditions and requirements. At the end of the day, are they going to be talking about say, oh, the 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 prices of food are so high, oh, insecurity is this? In they won't say that. They are not saying that. What are they doing for you now? What they are doing for you now is what you are supposed to be thinking about. It goes beyond gathering just few people, give them whatever you call it, and you come and tell us that you are helping the people. Like uh, the governorship candidate of the PDP in Lagos saying that you can't be building individuals and leave institutions and you serve people to clap for you. And those are the people who are rooting for them, clapping for them, supporting them. Coming out to tell you that, uh, oh, you have to vote for them because they helped this person to pay, say, pay school fees. They helped this person to pay house rent. It's a uh, medical, medical bills they help you to pay. So, and so what? Are, are individuals not doing that and <laughs> their own capacity? So, what are we talking about? So, if you fall for the antics of uh, all these G5 governors, what happened to Nigerians now? What is happening to you when Tinubu, the same Tinubu, Leared you, cajoled you to vote for Buhari. The same thing you are suffering is the same thing you are going to suffer if you listen to them at your own peril.